Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. It is an absolutely stunning day out here in Ohio. It's right in between that kind of fall and winter season. So it's like a 65 degrees, but the sun warms you up. It's just a really nice day. But anyway, sorry, getting sidetracked. I'm gonna take you on a tour of this 2023 Grand Design Solitude. 345 GK that I just took in lightly on a trade. I think the sale price is going to be right around $89,000. We also got that truck in. So pretty darn cool. Nice little combo on a uh, Tiffin that they're buying. So congrats to that family. And on to a new one here in this. So if you're looking for a good deal on a 23, I got your back, baby. The deal's on wheels. Specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes should pop up on the screen. So make sure to check that out. Uh, if you would like to see it in writing, it is down in the description, along with my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, I would love to have your back and see you know, what I can do for you. Uh, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Really trying to hit 40,000 here by the end of 2023. But uh, let's get over the boring stuff. Let's go on inside and enjoy the tour. Again, it's a 2023 Grand Design Solitude 345 GK. And if you guys have seen my videos, I haven't toured too many Grand Designs. So this is a pretty good little treat for me. But right as you walk in, beautiful. It is, it is kind of light and bright with the flooring and the furniture, but you still get those dark, rich brown notes, which I just personally love. I know a lot of people like, you know, the grays and all that, but I, I still like that dark, rich look to it. But what I notice is absolutely massive slides. So what I would call super slide right over here, all the way down to the end of the refrigerator, you know, with your cooking, your entertainment. That's going to be a televator, by the way, with a sound bar and a fireplace. And while I'm on that too, I don't know if this is a customer add-on or if Grand Design does it, but I noticed there's a sound bar here and there's also a speaker there and a speaker there. So maybe drop a comment, inform me a little bit, train me a little bit on there. But then you get another super slide over here, which has, you know, some theater seating and a dinette table for four. Another thing you're going to notice is no carpet. So they use the linoleum for the slides and it's a flush mount slide, meaning you're going to get a lot of headroom. So I am six feet tall and you know, you're probably looking at about six, seven for head clearance. I love that. You don't have to worry about bonking your head, but you're also going to get some storage where typically it would be a little bit shorter. You know, usually this would be like a six inch box or something. Cause this would be about six inches lower, but you get some fairly good storage in here. So uh, A plus to the Grand Design design team. I think that's pretty darn nice. All the windows are also tinted and they open up for a nice breeze as well. So that's always a plus. You're also going to get the old Dracula shade, baby. Stop the old skin from sizzling. Keep the sun from coming in. You are good to go. The theater seating is also going to be powered. You also get two cup holders and a place to put all your controllers, you know, your remotes. You got a USB charger. You're also going to see you got heat mode and then some, uh, some lighting there. But it's also going to be directly across from that TV. So that's where that televator will pop up for you. So you can sit down, relax, watch a movie. But it's also not going to be the focal point of every trip. All right, over here, if you move it over, a lot of people would say that island gets in the way. But honestly, unless you're, uh, unless you're about six years old, you know, and you're, you're a real tiny person, you're going to be able to see over that no problem. Even then, I don't think you're really going to have a problem viewing it. But just to cover my bases... An elongated center island that I think is looking sharp with the accent lighting there underneath. I just think that looks really nice. But you can see all this walk around room. So it makes for a really functional, whether you're cooking uh, or just hanging out with family, or maybe if you're playing a game of apple juice pong, you know, lobbing bombs down with the family, you are good to go. This again is that seating place for four. So sit down, have some dinner, play some cards, you know, play some euchre, just enjoy some downtime, maybe read a book with a good view outside of this absolutely massive window. In the back half of this, you're also gonna notice you get a really functional space, not only for tall storage and high overhead storage, but you also have this desk. So more people are getting acclimated with kind of life on the road, you know, kind of post COVID type stuff where it seems to be you know, the Wi-Fi and all that becoming more and more important. Well, right here, you know, you can take that on the road job. Absolutely no problem. You know, travel nursing, things of that nature. For the pull-out drawers, you also get the power tower. So right there, two USBs, or sorry, two USBs and two outlets, but it also collapses and goes away. There's going to be your emergency exit. So pull, push, and plop. You can get out in a hurry. You also got kind of that honeycomb glass right there. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. 
But look at that storage, that's incredible. And then three little nooks right there, along with your max air fan control and your control for the heating and the AC. So one thing that you'll see here, you're gonna notice there's gonna be three ACs in this unit. So one, two, and then one up in the bedroom. So that's pretty darn nice. Massive, massive, whatever you wanna call that, pantry, storage, I don't know, but it looks nice, it's functional. You also get a little organization right there with the pull-out drawers. They could be a little bit deeper, but uh, that's okay. You know, it's places to put extra stuff. You have the refrigerator. So it's gonna be one of those massive twin cooling plus modes with the Samsung. So it's gonna be a 20 cubic foot refrigerator. It's gonna be uh, electric. Let's see here, I believe so. Yeah, so it's your residential style refrigerator. So that is pretty darn nice to have. You know, it's gonna be just like the one inside your home. Actually, is that or is that? Why am I blinking out here? Yeah, okay. The freezer section is pretty darn big too. And you got two different sections right there. That top portion being a little partition because you got a little ice maker there. Moving it along, again, you're going to be on this super slide. So you get a massive insignia microwave with a couple different modes. And you get your cheese mode, your ice cream mode, and your butter mode. Those are the three common things that you just got to have in a microwave. If you get a microwave that doesn't have a cheese mode, I don't know what you're doing in life, but it's not a good thing. Hands free, you notice again, shout out to the babe, how you doing? That's gonna be the same here on this right side. You do get the uh, industry's largest oven with plenty of countertop space and storage on both sides, so I love seeing that, but this is the insignia. You got the four stovetop burners on top, and then check that out. You could literally have Thanksgiving on the road in this bad boy, absolutely no problem. You also get another window behind it, hopefully for a good view, but it looks like it's got kind of that stainless steel look there for that backsplash. Two trash cans. And then over here is just gonna be open-ended storage, which is always a big time plus. Flip it around, I'm not gonna open up the sink, but the sink is made out of the same material here. So the design runs all the way through, which is really nice, but it's gonna be that, that split sink, that dual zone. So you're gonna see kind of like a dry side and a wet side, along with a high-rise residential faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles. Two pull-out drawers here up top with the bottom one being absolutely massive. You're gonna see you get an outlet here and an outlet there, maybe for like a coffee machine or, you know, I don't know what else you need outlets by the sink for, but figure you'll figure out something. A little margarita maker, or as most people call them, a blender. A little place for a brush. Oh, look at that. That's pretty darn snazzy. Someone missed that in on the check-in. That's, uh, that raises the value. All right. So again, this TV is gonna be on a televator. You do have the two speakers right here, window in the back, more overhead storage. Don't need to show you that. But a good sound bar, and this thing gets absolutely bumping. This is gonna be that Vizio, so I'm sure you're familiar with that. Or if you're not, uh, in other words, just really nice sound bar. You get a electric fireplace, and this puts out enough heat for 500 square feet of RV. So in an RV that's this size, it'll heat up the entirety of this room, absolutely no problem. It probably has the ability to heat up a lot of the rest of the coach if you have the proper air circulation. So you gotta make sure you get like a box fan or something like that to kind of push it up. So right here, you're also gonna see you have another little couch and some additional sleeping. So that's always a big time plus. You got a little mirror right there just for aesthetics. Check out the old bowling gun, baby. An emergency exit, so pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry. And then, of course, you know, a ton more storage. That was a bad example to pull that right there. But you get a lot more storage. Right here is a little key hook. And then the left side is going to be a little bit bigger. But uh, this middle section, again, with that honeycomb glass ice finish, I just think it's looking sharp. Well, look at that. Should have started right there. All right. So... It's gonna be the other connection there for the heat and AC. This is gonna be your LCI control. If you're not familiar with it, it's really nice and simple. You barely have to read to use it. All on, all off for the lights. You get the awning controls that you just click. You know, you get your leveling controls. Uh, so right there, level up, leveler. You can also use it. Jeez, I beat say that five times fast. You can also go ahead and sync it up to your phone there as well. And there's gonna be a slide button as well that you can click. Let's see here, why is that going slow? 
There you go. So the slide right there, in and out. A little night light heading up the stairs along with the grab handle to make it nice and easy. Your fuse box is going to be right here as well, as long with your go power to show you that the solar panels are working. Uh, this thing's got three batteries on it too, by the way, which I'll show you here on the outside portion. Bathroom, nothing too crazy, but the toilet is in a fun functional enough space where you can sit down. You're not shoulder to shoulder and brushing up against anything. You can actually, you know, sit down and take care of business. And as a bigger guy, that's definitely important that it's also the old porcelain throne. Three octopus guys hanging out, waiting for, you know, a towel. You also have uh, that the customer wants to put on there. So that's pretty cool. You can check the leveling. Storage is going from here all the way down through there. Good size shower with the Tri-Glide tri Glass Series so you can open it up just a little bit wider. But it's also got one of the fanciest shower heads in the RV industry. So four different parts where water will come out. Right there, the little wand, and then two more along with some baskets that were installed. And then you have your bench, which I believe holds up to 250 pounds. We'll have to check that out. Uh, but really nice shower. You know, again, being six feet tall, 300 pounds, and the fact that I could fit in this and probably have room for another if you're getting crazy. You know, it's a, it's a pretty good luxury to have. A little bit of countertop space with your stainless steel undermounted bowl there for the sink. Bam! Look at that. Looks like I'm losing some weight again. I think I'm just walking more, but uh, man, I'm trying. I got a cruise here coming up in about a month. I'm trying to get beach ready, but right now I'm looking like I might be beached whale ready. But luckily the boats are big. All right, east to west slide bed. Love seeing that because you're gonna get probably about four feet of room here in between. You got a little pull out tray right there for some extra storage, but I just love all the space. You know, when you're getting ready, you can move around, dance around, have a little fun, don't feel claustrophobic. You also got your third AC up here with the dump valves on each side. So if you wanna disproportionately cog some of that cold air, Open those up, let those things flow, suck up some of that extra AC. And when not, close that up and it'll evenly distribute it down through the H track here on the Grand Design. That's gonna be your other control. Two outlets and two USBs, two outlets, two USBs. You can see you get three windows. That's just nice in general for a good breeze or just a good view. Even the slide height on the um, on the bedside, it's pretty darn impressive. You know, again, being six feet tall, you're looking probably about six three, six four or so here in the bedroom, which is nice. You also get, uh, you're prepped up for the Wi-Fi, that gateway. So again, back to that desk. Roku TV, so smart TV, another emergency exit, pull, push, and plop. Get out in a hurry. A little bit of hidden storage right here. And then you get six of those pull-out drawers for your dresser. Two more drawers right down there. Big old hanging closet space. Typically, this is BB where your washer and dryer is, but I like the fact that it's not there because it's more dedicated closet space. And they actually put a washer and dryer here, uh, which is pretty darn schnazzy. So that's nice. I'm not sure about the equator. I've never heard of that before, but uh, you know, I'm presuming it's a nice little brand. The guy paid cash for both this and his truck, and then he traded in and you know bought a Tiffin motorhome with cash. So it's I'd imagine that's a pretty good brand because the guys seem to be pretty highfalutin. But all right, hope you enjoyed the inside portion of this tour. If you guys have made it this far, uh, surely you like me quite a bit. At least I don't annoy you. Got to be in your top five of RV salesmen. Hit that like and subscribe button for me. I'd love to have you part of this little growing community here. Check that out. That's just a good looking shot right there. What a nice looking camper. 2023 Grand Design Solitude 345 GK. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, again, are going to be down in the description of the video, so make sure to check that out if you're looking for any more information. Frameless windows here on the outside. You're also going to see you get LED lights there up the front. More ride suspension, so a little bit of a more comfortable ride on this. And they got those leveling gauges all over the place, so... Love seeing it. You know this thing was always properly towed. Plenty of extra storage. Those are going to be those three batteries all running in sync for you. So plenty of battery power. Six-point hydraulic auto leveling. You also get propane here behind this door. Massive pass-through storage which is always a plus. That's going to be your road vac. 
you know, your central vacuum system, your battery disconnect's gonna be right over there, go solar charge controller, and you're also gonna see, you know, no exposed wood. It's all got that aluminum foil and that little black wrap up there, but you're all gonna see it's welded at all points as well, which is always a plus. Spray port and two outlets, uh, if you wanna get a little bit of like an outside show going on. They even put the LED strip there on the frame, which is nice, completely enclosed underbelly with the tank heaters as well. Dual awnings with the slide topper. So awning here, awning there, LED lights running underneath it. The slide topper is going to be right there. They usually run you about, eh, I'd say about 900 bucks or so a piece. So that's nice to already have that on there. Uh, you do get your marine grade outside speakers, your rock forge. Tire length, so that's going to be uh, for your Lion's Head tires with that 125 lifetime on it. But the tire length is going to be, you know, your tire pressure monitoring system. So it'll scream at you. Uh, when uh, when it's getting a little bit a little bit wonky a little bit scary for you when you're driving down the road fully walkable roof on the grand design so you can get on there check your seals check your slides do everything that you need to do you also got a seven-way plug here on the back as well as a, uh, a hitch ladder to get on top of the roof you're also going to see you have the backup camera it does have the three camera safety system already installed on it too with the monitor that you saw in there i think in the um, the theater seating lp quick connect it's going to be right there yeah i think that about wraps it up here i know it's pretty quick on the outside portion but you know, usually people start dropping off we'll show you a couple more things like the docking station there's going to be your sewer outlet connection that's going to be where you plug in the unit back end of the hot water heater but then take a look at that. You got your water filter, all your gray tank valves, black tank valves, your black tank flush, which is going to be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank, potable water, and then all your controls right there for dry camping and winterization, all that. Hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, and then you have your outlet right there as well. There's going to be your auto level controls. But guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hopefully see you next time. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2023 Grand Design Solitude 345GK. Have a wonderful night. See ya.